Uh, this is some Venonia oil, all the way from Ethiopia, that uh, Pete Licence brought back with him. What do you want with that? Well, I'd like to turn it into wind turbines. This comes from mainly from uh, the eastern part of Ethiopia. It's, 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 it's just a wild plant. So once it is ground, you put it uh, in a thimble. We put it in, in, in a thimble for the extraction. It's just the preparation for the extraction process now, to get the oil. So here you have the solvent that is N hexane. Now we, we start with the extraction. We just heat, heat up the solvent. This is the final product after purification, the Vernonia oil. There have been attempts in the past to use Vernonia oil for many applications, but it's in the last three, four years really where the importance of Vernonia has become really uh, quite important. Uh, this is some Vernonia oil all the way from Ethiopia that uh, Pete Licence brought back with him. What do you want with that? Well, I'd like to turn it into wind turbines. So in the world of natural fibre composites there's loads of candidate fibres, hemp, jute, flax, cotton, traditional sort of textile fibres, also things like elephant grass, banana fibres as well. But there are very few workable natural resins. There's some sugar-based ones, but they're very hard to process with and they smell terrible when you work with them. So I was very interested when Pete mentioned this Venonia oil, which is a naturally occurring epoxy. And epoxy is a one sort of resin that we use, particularly with carbon fibre composites. And one idea we had was to make a, a totally natural wind turbine blade. So wind energy is very kind of a technology that's meant to be environmentally friendly and yet wind turbine blades are made typically of glass fibres, all kinds of oil based resins as well so they're not very environmentally friendly in the manufacturing process even though the, the energy they produce is, is sort of free and green. So if we could make wind turbine blades out of natural fibres and natural resins then we could make a true sort of sustainable technology. It's great working with chemists because um, if you work with a chemist and they say, oh, we're going we're gonna to make a lot of this material, they say, oh, you know, almost a gram maybe. Uh, whereas in engineering, we're, we're sort of several orders of magnitude uh, higher than that. When we, when we talk about lots of materials, we talk about tons or, you know, tens, tens of kilograms, whereas chemists, you know, this is a lot of Venonia oil. So uh, I'll have to have a chat to Pete about what we do with this, um, how we can test it. It'd be nice to do some um, differential scanning calorimetry to look at how the resin cures, um, what, what sort of reaction it undergoes with. And it would have been nice to do some tests on the sort of mechanical properties, but I'm not sure we've got quite enough of that to do, do those sort of things with. You're not going to make a wind turbine out of that? It's going to be a very small one, isn't it? Maybe a little windmill or something but not a wind turbine. It's good to get the ball rolling with this and to, to just think about how we're gonna test it and uh, maybe sending, sending him over with a bigger bottle next time.